Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to replace the front and rear discs and pads on a Mark II 2010 2011 Leon. First thing we're going to do then is open the bonnet. And we're going to release the pressure from the brake and clutch reservoir. Okay, so at the back here is the reservoir. I'm just going to open this cap now. Careful. Okay, so at the back here, you can see the reservoir cap. And this just unscrews, so I'm just going to unscrew it now. And it lifts out. Okay, so that's released the pressure from the cylinder there. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my locking wheel nut from the glove box. Must keep this safe. So I'm going to start on the rear here. I'm going to take the plastic lugs out. Obviously, once they're all out, we can jack the car off the ground and obviously then release these bolts, take the wheel off. And just undoing these now so they're not done up super tight for when we jack it off the ground. We're going to show you both front and rear on one side because the process is replicated across the other side as well. Just removing the locked wheel nut now just because it's easier. Okay, so we're just jacking the car off the ground now on the safe support underneath the car. Get the rear wheel off the ground so we can start working on it. So as you can see, there's now a clearance under the wheel. Let's take the wheel off and look at the brakes. So we've just put a piece of wood here for safety as well, just to block in case obviously the car drops unexpectedly. Let's take the wheel. Okay, so we've discovered that the aluminium wheel is actually stuck to the, uh, the disc itself. Giving it a whack now. It's coming. Perfect. Got it. There we go. Oh, look at the tread on that. Done lot. Right, so we're just going to do the caliper bolts now. There's two bolts behind, one and two, that hold the caliper on. Once we take the caliper off, we can obviously take the, uh, the pads out. Oh, very tight. If in doubt, whack it with a mallet. Perfect. Okay. And just to be on the safe side, uh, we'll put, prop this on top of here just so it's supported. But this is the, the piston. We need to push this back in with a G clamp. So as you can see, they've actually still got quite a lot of tread on them or padding on them. But we're just going to replace them because the car's warning us. Um, it's probably for the best. There we go. Pad. So there's the inner pad. We're using a, a universal piston retraction tool to be able to push the piston back in. So we're just uh, winding the piston in now, slowly but surely. Pushing it back in, it's quite a hard effort this. You've got to just put a bit of uh, effort into it. But it will slowly retract back in so we can fit the new pads in, which will be obviously a lot more treadier, shall we say, a lot more pad on them. Uh, okay, and when you've retracted the piston, that's what it should look like. So there should be enough room for two new pads to go in there over the disc. Ooh, rear discs. Shiny. Ooh, shiny new pads. Look at those. Oh, get bolts on them as well. Oh, cool. So we're just going to take the disc mount screw off now. There we go. Nice one. I won't take it all the way. Yeah, no problem. So we're in doing the caliper anchor bolts at the moment. There's two on the rear. One, as you can see, where the socket set is. Socket piece, rather. And there's one directly below it. They're both exactly the same size. 14 piece. Yeah. 14 head size. 14 mil. And then it'll release the caliper holder there. Those two bolts have been loosened. There you go. You can see? Simple as that. Very simple. Not hard at all. Yeah. You can't get it off. Just whack it with one of these. Whack it with a hammer and then and the disc will... You're probably going to need one of these. Come off. It's, called, uh, it's so easy to do. Sled. Anyone... Oh, yes. There we go. Okay. So that's what it looks like when you've got the disc off. Obviously, that's the outside. Oh, shit. And that's the inside there. New disc going on. There's a bowl. So we're just going to put the disc holding screw in. Sort of holds it in position, in place. So 
we've got the brake anchor on or caliper support and I'm gonna put the new pads in now okay so that's what it'll look like go ahead and bring the caliper back in and if we've retracted the piston enough Oh yeah, we have just about. Oh, hold on. Just there. There we go. Perfect. Just putting the uh, caliper bolts back in now. Perfect. Let's put the wheel back on, and that's the rear offside. Done. Yeah. Where's the bolts? I'm trying to put them in. Behind us. Not touching your ass or anything. Get one, one right, now for you to go. let's do this. Right, so we're onto the front now. You've seen the rears. We're going to go ahead and obviously take the wheel off like you've just seen. And we're going to now take off the caliper carrier. Oh, so we're going to take off this caliper retainer clip here. This pops out. Un. Oh, hello. Oh, cheeky. The slider bolts on the back of the caliper have two plastic sort of covers on. Uh, just take those off and it gives you access to the two uh, Allen key bolts behind the caliper, as you can see on the screen now. Helps if you do it anti-clockwise. <laughs> Easy mistake to make though when you're working backwards sometimes. And uh, yeah, undo those two. That stinks. Taking the caliper off now guys, so we can change the pads and the disc. Do that. There, go. there we go. After a bit of work there, the caliper is off. Is there only one wear centre? Yeah. Because oh. they're meant to wear easily. <laughs> meant to. <sighs> Out come the pads. As you can see, that's how much... Blimey. So there's only about, what, a mil on that one? Driver's side? They're Offside? Fucked. Yeah, they're fucked. Fucked! First of all, we need to remove the caliper brace or caliper holder there. And there's two more bolts to take out in the back. Uh, one here. And one... Where is it? Here. So as you can see, a Seat is actually an Audi and VW there. My name's coming out. Ah. <laughs> carrier off, there's two massive bolts. Uh, they were a 21 mil. Yeah. 21 mil. Uh, I'm just taking out the uh, little screw here that holds the uh, disc in place. Yeah. Um, and we're going to take this off now with a sledgehammer. Let's do this. Okay. Oh. Sledgehammer is going. Let me hold that, I'll hold that. There's another pad in there. That's right. That's all right. right got it, go. Oh, there we go. So, How to move the that is a pretty knackered disc. To be honest with you, there it is. Let's put the new one on. Let's put it all back together. We will retract the piston as well in the caliper there and put the new pads in and get going. This is the scientific method for opening a new disc. I stab myself in the I'm foot. not sure what you're up to <laughs> there, but. Probably not the right way of doing it. What are we doing? It looks very dodgy. Look at that nice shiny disc. Let's flip that over. Oh, look at that. There we go. See our little grooves here to cool it down or help cooling. And on the edge, what's the edge like? That's the cool. Oh, that's for cooling. Let's put it on. Let's do this. Putting the uh, hold screw back in. Just holds the disc in place while you uh, put the caliper carrier and the caliper back on. Just putting the caliper bolts back in. Hold the uh, frame in place. Okay, so on the new pads, one is kind of keyed with this clip solution here. That actually goes inside the uh, piston housing here. So, you just clip it in. Clips in like that. Bit of force, but it will go in. Put it in. And we'll put the retainer on that later on. There we go. Should line up. We'll put the bolts back in now. And remember these have caps on as well to stop weathering. So we're going to put these little plastic clip clips on the back now. Keep the weather out. One. Is he out? I think we're all going out. I 
Yeah, two can buy. Two. Okay. So let's put this retainer clip back on. The holes line up. And then we'll just tuck this end in. Hate cars. Yeah. They never go to plan. Oh, you what? There we go. Just like that. Clip goes on. Piss easy. Some days. Done. Oh, you've got to right. actually lift the wheel. Okay, so now we're just tightening the wheel nuts up on the wheel. We're going to come and tighten this reservoir back up. Yeah. Um, it has a key, so just line the key up. Um, we've actually done all four wheels now. So we're just tightening this back up like that. We're going to go ahead and get into the cabin, start the engine, and we're going to pump the brake pedal before we do anything else. Check that it feels right. Anything apart from the jack. Handbrake's on, start the engine. I'm going to pump the very soft and it firms up. So the pressure's built back up again. Now it's working. Let's give it a little test drive. Be very careful when you first pull away just to ensure that the brakes are working correctly. Okay guys, there we have it. That was a disc and pad change on the front and rear of a Leon 2010. They're working fine. I just took them out to be gentle there just to make sure they're working okay. All 